Hi, Penny here again today from AllAboutStencils.com and DesignsFromPenny.com and um, I wanted to talk to you today about creating some Christmas tree skirts. I uh, often talk about using stencils to do things other than just pushing paint through the openings um, and using stencils as patterns and that's what we're going to be doing today. I made several Christmas tree skirts using a lot of the free stencils on AllAboutStencils.com and I want to show you what I did. It's very interesting. All right, let's get started. Okay, just to keep it easy, we're going to use this poinsettia stencil. Um, and this is, again, free on allaboutstencils.com. Now, what I did was I put it, and you can see I already started to trace, but I, I'm using a light color pink so that you can easily see what's, what I'm doing. And I put that, put the poinsettia on top of the pink, and I use just a light pen to trace it. I'll finish that out. Try and keep it quick. Just to show you how this is done, and it's traced. Then I would come back, I would cut out the pattern, and then remember this is what I want to show you this inking is on your fabric. So, what I usually do is take it and turn it over and use this side. So, you want to think about that because if your pattern, if the pattern you're using has to face a certain way, you may want to make sure to trace it on the back of the fabric. Okay. Now, that being said, let me show you some of the things that I did, some of the ones that I created using the free stencils from allaboutstencils.com. And um, again, this is very easy. This is all felt fabric. It's very inexpensive. Uh, some beautiful colors. Now, you don't have to stick to just the Christmas colors, and that's what I want to impress upon you. Um, I did some very different things. I did some traditional things. This first is the one with the poinsettias. I took the pattern and cut it in three different fabrics. The green, a light pink, and the red. And just put them on top of each other. Um, the centers are just yellow felt and I used a hole punch to make three little dots and glued those on. Now, these were glued on. All of these that you'll see were glued on. If you want to stitch them on, that's wonderful. If you can embroider, that's great too. Um, add whatever you want to them. You could put your own trim on them. Um, if you want to add sequins, glitter, whatever it is, you do that. Also, these would make a wonderful gift. Imagine if there was a young couple you knew, their first year together, you might embroider their name on it, or baby's first Christmas, whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, this is the poinsettia. The next one's not so traditional. It's fleur de -lis. And I used a purple background with the gold color fleur de -lis, And I actually put a little fur trim on this one. It's kind of regal. Anyway, the next one are some reindeer. And I hope you can see two reindeer facing each other. And again, this is one that you have to think about because remember, they're facing each other. So you have to point them in the right direction when you're tracing the back of them. And uh, I just put a simple ribbon underneath them, cut it out in felt. And this is kind of a burgundy on a tan. It's an unusual color. It's a very, very, kind of an ivory color. Okay. Next one are some doves with the piece uh, on a burgundy background. Uh, very nice color. Anyway. Okay. And this is the stuffed stocking. And again, you can find this free on allaboutstencils.com. Great for baby's first Christmas on a green background. All right, this one is a little unusual. It is a retro Christmas tree skirt. And you can see it's kind of a cyan blue, a turquoise maybe, you might call it, with the bright greens and yellows and pinks with a little music around it. One tree, very simple, very easy. Uh, and I think that I'm going to use the ball fringe to finish this off. I think that might be interesting. Um, now. We talked about putting some themes together, keeping it simple. Um, the next one you may want to do, when you talk about doing things for Christmas, it's all about traditions. So maybe you want to cut out a bunch of stencils and patterns and let the kids make one. And that's what we did here. Okay, so it's busy. <laughs> it has a lot of stuff on it. As you can see, I'll move it around. You can see there's Christmas trees, there's stuffed stockings, there's ornaments, there's fa la la poinsettias, reindeer, everything. But they loved it. They had a good time. This was a 
a very inexpensive skirt that I bought at uh, a dollar store. And like I said, the kids had a good time, we had a good time, and I think it's something that we'll cherish for many years to come. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, we made a lot of tree skirts. Some of them I'm going to give away as gifts, like I said, and um, others I'm just going to keep around. And maybe you could throw them over a small table, or there's a lot of things you can do with them. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you come back to allaboutstencils.com for many more projects. Thanks, and Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.